St. Patrick's Athletic and Waterford had lived to fight again. This was a replay of the Football Association of Ireland Cup Final. St. Patrick's kicked off. Waterford playing from left to right in the first half wore the lighter jerseys. 22,000 enthusiasts crowded Alimont Park, and as St. Patrick's are a club from the Inchicore district, they probably had more supporters present than Waterford. But that didn't stop Waterford attacking and testing St. Patrick's goalkeeper Lowry in the first minute. The ball was soon at the other end. Centre forward McGeehan passed to the right wing, took the return centre in the goal mouth and scored. A goal up inside two minutes and Patrick's were on top of the world, pressed hard and it looked as if another goal would soon come. Slattery conceded a corner. Outside right curtain took the kick and again it was a chance for St. Patrick's. On the opposite wing, the ball went towards Peyton, but the Waterford goalkeeper, Dunphy, easily had the situation in hand. It surprised most of the crowd that after the tonic of that early goal, St. Patrick's got no more in the first half. So the score remains St. Patrick's 1, Waterford 0 at half-time. Waterford soon had the ball in their opponent's goal area on the resumption. If they could get a goal in the early stages, they'd be back in the game. Centre forward Fitzgerald had a try, but Lowry kept the St. Patrick's goal out of harm way. Waterford pressed again. St. Patrick's right half Tommy Dunn handled. Penalty for Waterford. Dixie Hale took the kick and nearly sent the ball into orbit. What an escape for St. Patrick's. It galvanised them into attack. Peyton scored from 18 yards out. St. Patrick's were two clear goals ahead. Waterford would have to perform miracles to win now. St. Patrick's had another corner. With luck, they might have scored again. Dunn headed, but Dunphy got the ball away. At the other end, Waterford were rewarded at last. Fitzgerald scored. But one goal wasn't enough, and when the last whistle blew, St. Patrick's had won the cup by two goals to one. And what heroes they were. There wasn't a happier man in Dublin than St. Patrick Skipper when he received the cup from Minister of Justice Traynor, President of the FAI.